Discover Weymouth, a seaside gem on the Dorset coast. Portland was our first port stop on a Caribbean Princess British Isles Iceland cruise. From here, we boarded a free bus which provided a direct transfer from Portland to Weymouth, which was approximately 10 kilometers or a 20 25 minute drive. Weymouth is a picturesque seaside town located on the south coast of England in Dorset. A short walk from the bus drop off is the Weymouth Harbour. Weymouth Harbour has a rich maritime history dating back centuries. It was once a bustling port for trade, fishing, and shipbuilding. The harbour is lined with colourful buildings, cafes, restaurants, and shops. Later on during the day, there was a huge lineup at this restaurant with everyone enjoying some fish and chips while sitting along the harbour. Although smaller today, Weymouth still has an active fishing fleet that operates from the harbour, providing fresh seafood to local markets and restaurants. There are several boat tours that leave from the harbour. This one looked like it would be a blast. We stopped by the Anglican Holy Trinity Church dating back to the mid-19th century. Then, across the iconic lifting bridge, known as Town Bridge, which opened in 1930. It is designed to open to allow marine traffic to pass through the harbour. The bridge lifts at set times throughout the day. We continued our stroll to Weymouth Beach, one of the town's main attractions. With its golden sands, safe swimming waters, and traditional seaside amusements, it's a fun way to spend our day in port. The beach is bordered by a long attractive promenade and esplanade lined with cafes, restaurants, shops, and traditional seaside attractions, including sand sculptures. A traditional feature of Weymouth Beach is the offering of donkey rides, which are a popular attraction for children. And the beach is well equipped with facilities such as beach huts, deck chair rentals, and public toilets. Prominently located on the Esplanade, overlooking Weymouth Bay, the statue of King George III was erected in 1809 to commemorate King George III's Golden Jubilee, marking the 50th year of his reign. He frequently visited the town with his family beginning in the late 18th century, seeking the health benefits of sea bathing. King George III was instrumental in popularizing Weymouth as a seaside resort. The Royal Hotel, formerly known as the Royal York Hotel, has a history dating back to the early 19th century. It hosted King George III during his frequent visits to Weymouth. The Royal Hotel is an excellent example of Georgian architecture. The hotel continues to serve as a significant accommodation option, offering tourists a blend of historical ambiance and modern amenities. Erected in 1887 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Queen Victoria's reign, the Jubilee Clock stands as a symbol of this important milestone in British history. Situated on the Esplanade, the clock's ornate design and vibrant colours are a product of the Victorian era. The beach offers opportunities for various water sports including paddle boarding, kayaking and windsurfing. Equipment rentals and beach huts are available. Brunswick Terrace is located at the northeastern end of Weymouth's Esplanade, close to the seafront and just past the Jubilee Clock Tower. Brunswick Terrace comprises both private residences and guest accommodations, such as bed and breakfast and holiday apartments. It is a popular area for tourists looking for accommodation with easy access to the beach and the town centre. The terraced houses feature characteristic Georgian and Victorian architectural details, including sash windows, decorative ironwork, and pastel-colored facades.
then, of course, it's time for ice cream. And there's something for every ice cream lover in this charming seaside town. How's your ice cream, Brian? Good. Ice cream, too? Refreshed, we continue our stroll and spend some time browsing the shops. Look out for shops selling Dorset fudge, locally made chocolates, and traditional British candies. Yum! Heading back down to the Esplanade, we make our way to catch our transfer bus back to the ship. What a great day we spend exploring Weymouth. Join us on our next video as we dock in Falmouth and explore the county of Cornwall. If you enjoy our channel, give us a like and be sure to subscribe to be notified when we put out a new video. And as always, we appreciate hearing from you in the comments. Bye for now.